The first thing to do when you get your SAT Phi 2 is to charge it. It always needs charging. And it won't connect. It, there's no assurance of connectivity if the charge in the device falls below 25%. The easiest, the best, the fastest way to do it is with the supplied wall charger. It has a different kind of plug. Also on the cable is what they refer to as a switching power supply. And that will cause some problems later. But um, you can also hook up with a supplied USB cable that fits into one side of the SATFI 2 and here you can more slowly charge the device using say one of these portable power packs or like the camping battery I have in the background or anywhere you're you can get a USB connection for power the main problem with charging is that you cannot operate the device while it's being charged, which is completely different than, say, the Spot X in the background or your cell phone, where you can hook it up to a battery, have it charged, and can communicate. Now, we get back to this problem with the cable, is that I've got this lithium-ion battery for all of my electronics when I'm out camping, and I thought, all I had to do was plug that into the AC portion, uh, the inverter, but it does not work. For whatever reasons, that switch power supply causes problems. It does not work. So instead, you can, as I mentioned before, use a USB cable and charge up that way. You'll probably get about 15% of charge for every two hours this way. It's not going to draw more than three watts coming out of a typical USB connection. Unfortunately, there is no battery level indicator for the device, so you will not know how charged it is unless you take it off the charger, launch the Wi-Fi network, launch the app, and then in the upper right hand corner of the app screen you can see where the level is what the level is if you have a smart battery like that lithium ion battery that I have for camping you'll see the drawdown 3 watts 2 watts 1 watt also on the unit itself while it's charging it has a green blinking light the light slows down and slows down eventually when it gets fully charged it will be a bright green and mostly stay on. And then you're at about 98%. That's the best you're going to do. Now, turning it off, though, is really, really essential. You have to make sure that it goes completely dark, all lights off. Sometimes the unit will not sh shut off. It will be blinking three lights red. You can knife the unit by holding down the off button for seven seconds. The unit gets hot. I, if you have it on top of a car, I would put something insulating like a paper plate underneath it. If you're out in the desert like me and have some blue ice available, you might try putting that on the bottom. It's sealed at the bottom and there's no condensation with a pack of blue ice. Heat kills batteries. So anything you can do to keep the unit cool is a good idea. The Spot X here doesn't suffer from any kind of charging problems. You can just use a battery pack like this and a USB cable and you're fine. 